Hey guys, it's Nicola. So as you know, usually the weekly readings are done per zodiac each week. But this week I am pressed for time, so we will be doing the weekly readings per element to read. Um, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I know you guys usually want to see your particular sign read for the week, but for this week only, April the 19th through April the 25th, I will do the weekly readings per element. Um, thank you for your patience. Next week things will return or resume as normal. Um, until then. Hey water signs, it's Nicola. So as I stated in the intro video, this week only I'll be doing your weekly reads per element um, next week we'll go back to reading them for the collective okay I mean we'll go back to reading them for each individual signs my apologies so this will be for Cancer Scorpio Pisces so through 25th 2020 I will pull one of these per uh, element I mean per sign like I do for the dailies we want part all right for Cancer Cancer, we have Dark Angel. So let's read what we have for that. Okay. The Dark Angel comes to you with a radical truth. Divine love is always there for you, without exception. Love will never forget you. It will never stop caring for you, even when it seems most unlikely. In fact, especially then. The Divine is reaching for you and nurturing you. Even our wounds are ways that we can discover love and divine grace through the healing process. The Divine is always helping you remember who you are and find your true joy. When the Dark Angel appears, you are being given a gift of light, even if it, even if it may seem to be a hidden blessing. All right, so for some of you guys, you could be going through something that is actually a blessing, um, even though it may not feel like it. What messages do we have for Scorpio? All right, Scorpio, we have an invitation to connect. I suggest you take it. All right, so let's see what messages we have for that. Love exists through our universe. Many loving beings that do not belong to the human race exist in worlds beyond the earthly realm. Among these are those who are aware of the spiritual plight of humanity and are willing to are willing and able to help us move forward. Unlike those who close their minds because they fear the unknown, you have an open mind and an open receptive heart. Beings from other worlds recognize you as a receptive channel for their unconditionally loving assistance in this world. You will both benefit from this individually and help the planet. So you're being offered an invitation to connect. Okay. Let's see what messages we have for Pisces. So, all right, Pisces. Quick like. Third ray of creative intelligence. The third ray of creative intelligence brings the gift of spiritual, of practical spirituality and develops the talent for grounding inspired creativity into the world. It empowers your manifestation. This ray brings many gifts, including new ideas and the practical support needed to bring them to life. The ability to organize, make connections and networks, and synthesize information from various sources into one coherent whole. Archangel Chamiel helps you receive this gift from the universe with love and intelligence. All right. So let's see what messages we have. We're going to do a collective reading like I do for the weekend reading. Um, so this is going to be a 10 card spread. What messages, what guidance do we have? This is for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for April the 19th through April the 25th, 2020. Messages, guidance for Cancer, Scorpio, Venus. This is for April the 19th, April the 20th, April the 21st, April the 3rd, April the 24th, and April the 25th, 2020. Messages guidance for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Got Nine of Cups under here, so fulfillment of wishes. Some of you guys are going to get what you want. Um... But you got to choose wisely. What exactly do you want? Okay, what exactly do you want? So we have the Six of Cups here. Some of you guys, I feel like with the Third Eye Chakra and the Six of Cups, I feel like you are really in a space of trying to manifest something from your past. What you get When you get two Sixes, though, this is about really bringing balance moving forward. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, in order to get what you desire, you do have to release something from the past. Four of Swords here. Be in alignment with your true knowledge. Be in alignment with overcoming your fears or overcoming an ego. Um, so when you talk about overcoming 
the beast within. This is the ego-based type of energy we have. Things that are based in lust, obsession, money, sex, you know, 3D type of issues. It's really about being in the space of spiritually creating balance for yourself. Foundations and achievements here. Now, for some of you guys, this could have to do with what you're achieving. Some of you guys could be restricted by your own ideas or your own desires to achieve something um and this could be creating some mental conflict eight swords plus two swords is ten swords i feel like you need to be in a space of embracing the end of some difficulties of the past so that you can really move forward here ace of cups toward a new opportunity love will begin ten cups here and it'll bring emotional fulfillment and happiness but you do have to be in a space of choosing that so for some of you guys in order for you to have this fulfillment of wishes, you have to choose to let go of something in the past. So you need to figure out what you really want. All right. So with the star card here, this is about seeing the bigger picture here. Cancer and energy with the triumph here. This is about seeing the bigger picture of having your will to really take action. I feel like you're going to win if you make the right decision. But for a lot of you guys, you have to release some memories of the past. Six of cups here. Why is the six of cups here? We have... The strength card here, overcoming the past. This is about really finding the strength here to retreat from a past situation. Ace of Wands to go towards something new. So I feel like a cycle has completed and you're really in a space of needing to. Queen of Wands, assert your independence. Um, yeah, that's a cycle that has completed. High Priestess, King of Pentacles, World card. So some of you guys know that you need to be confident about ending a cycle or, or you could be dealing with an earth sign and need to be confident about ending that with the queen of wands here this could be about really asserting yourself this could be about queen of wands is always about motivating yourself to move in a in a in a confident way um to not underestimate yourself to not underestimate your abilities you feel what i'm trying to tell you third eye chakra here is about trusting what you know trusting what you see Queen of Cups here. So this is about you needing to trust your own heart, trust your own feelings. Queen of Cups Moon card. This is definitely about trusting your own feelings. Queen of Cups is Scorpio energy moon card. It's Pisces energy. Three of Pentacles here. I feel like there could be a hidden type of situation here. I feel like with the Page of Swords and the Eight of I mean with the Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords, your own lack of confidence is what's creating an interference within whatever this is. So in order for you to be able to move forward, you have to trust what you feel and retreat from whatever is holding you back. Why is this four of swords here? This is about resting, rejuvenating. This is about retreating. Why is this four of swords here? This is about being in alignment with your own power. Why is this four of swords here? We have five of cups. Yeah, some of you guys are dealing with some regrets. I feel like you need to retreat. With the page of cups and the empress, I feel like you feel like it's time for some new things. to. You need to allow yourself to really rejuvenate, to rest from a situation. Three of wands to establish your strength. But I feel like for a lot of you guys with this five of cups and this page of cups, I feel like you're dealing with um, some regrets. You're dealing with some heartache. Could even be in a space of crying over spilled milk. But you need to trust your own feelings and allow yourself to really grow. Allow yourself to evolve so that you can, like I said, overcome this ego type of energy. This is about you really moving into a higher vibration. Why is this strength card here? Oh, could be dealing with the Leo. Strength card is Leo energy. We got Ace of Swords here. So this is clarity. Some of you guys are needing to, yeah. I don't like these two cards. So some of you guys do have anxiety about releasing something of the past. Nine of swords here with the six of swords. Ten swords. So like I said previously with this eight swords and this two swords, some of you guys need to embrace the end of a difficult situation. Release something of the past so that you can really gain fulfillment of wishes. But you have to want that. It's like I feel like for a lot of you guys, um, you're really feeling restricted because you 
I don't know if you feel like because something of the past you were you feel like you were supposed to achieve something um, with the situation or you're just trapped by your own fears and that's what's creating the conflict. You need to be in the space of releasing that conflict, releasing that lack um, and allowing yourself to truly, again, gain fulfillment of wishes or to truly be happy. So we have the four of wands here. Why is this four of wands here? We have the five of swords with the king of wands in reverse. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're really having your focus is off. Five of swords is unwise decisions, unwise choices. Three of pentacles here in regards to some sort of cooperation. Um, Sagittarius energy here with temperance. Divine timing is at play here. So I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you're focused on an achievement that's an unwise decision. Again, some of you guys are focused on receiving or achieving something from a past situation and it may not be within the right vibration. I feel like for a lot of you guys, in order to achieve what it is that you truly want, you have to really make plans. For some of you guys, King of Swords, Three of Pentacles, you got to cut away some sort of partnership that is blocking your path, that is creating restriction for you. And you really have to be in a space of removing the, that kind of prison that you've built for yourself and really going toward Ace of Cups a new opportunity. I feel like you're being presented with a new opportunity, but you're needing to see the bigger picture about letting go of something else. So we have the eight of swords. You can't listen. If you want new love or if you want a new opportunity in life, not just new love, but if you want a new opportunity in life, you got to let go of what was. You have to make room. Like God is not going to bless you with nothing. He's not, God is not going to bless you with anything if you don't have a room to receive it. So we have the eight of swords. We got the lover's card here. Some of you guys are really lacking the confidence of making a decision to take a leap of faith and move forward. You're in suspension here. Hangman under here. So some of you guys, you're really in suspension. And hangman, world, ten of pentacles. Some of you guys are waiting on a commitment or you're waiting on something solid. But you need to change your perspective in order to gain what it is that you want. Lover's card, fool, energy, six of swords. You got to make the decision to really take a leap of faith and move forward. But you're allowing your own fear or your own lack of confidence to keep you trapped and keep you in the space of being at a stalemate because you're having mental conflicts. Why is this two of swords here? Aye. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So I feel like out of fear, some of you guys are not moving forward. Ace of Wands in reverse is turning down. Now, some of you guys, I'm going to be real with you. Someone could have turned down. We got Moon card here, Pisces energy. We have... Um, Cancerian energy under here. Some of you guys could be having some mental conflicts because someone could have turned down an extension of energy. If you extended an opportunity towards someone or you extended your energy towards someone like an olive branch wanting a start over, someone could have turned that down and you could be having conflicts here dealing with some internal fears um, that you're needing to work through. So some of you guys are dealing with triggers that you need to work through and this is what's creating this mental conflict for you with this nine of cups here i feel like for a lot of you guys you have to work on really creating happiness for yourself by overcoming those triggers so let's see here we have the ace of cups here so for so for some of you guys okay i'm gonna put it to you like this you could have been rejected and for some of you guys you could have decided to either go back to someone that a cycle has already ended for like an ex or something because someone knew that you were dealing with rejected you and it triggered you. So you went back to something that you felt was comfortable or safe and secure. And for a lot of you guys, even that created another trigger because whoever that was in the past may not have been reciprocal to that energy. So now with this Ace of Cups, you do have an opportunity, but you're needing to see the bigger picture. You're needing to really choose what is going to actually make you happy. All right, so we have the King of Swords here. This is about making a decision. King of Swords, lovers here. Some of you guys, you need to choose this new opportunity. I'm not going to say you need to choose a new opportunity, but I feel like you need to walk in faith and understand that whatever's coming in your life is going to bring emotional fulfillment. Four of Wands, Eight of Swords. Some of you guys, your own plans are creating these restrictions. What you have built up in your mind of what should happen is creating this sort of prison or restriction for you, causing you to not be able to move forward. We have the Star Energy here. This is the Ace of Pentacles here. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you do have a, not, a new opportunity. Could be with the Virgo. But for a lot of you guys, I feel like with the Hermit and the Nine of Swords, you have a new opportunity, but you need to go within yourself. You need to discover what you really desire. You need to discover what it is, like what is your wish fulfillment? Because right now, this mental cruelty or this anxiety that you have is creating an obstacle to you being able to see the bigger picture. 
uh, ten swords underneath here with that is embracing the end of difficult difficulties. So we have the chariot energy here. Um, why is this triumph here? Why is triumph here? So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you have to choose to win. What? But for a lot of you guys, three of pentacles, four, three of cups, four of pentacles, you could be holding on to a third party. Three of swords, six of swords. They really needed to sever that so that you can move forward. Six of cups here. Some of you guys are holding on to a past situation that's creating. That's creating a blockage. So you have to choose to win here. And in order for you to choose to win, you got to let go of what you're holding on to. All right. Let's see what messages we have. What messages, what guidance do we have? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, AG. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Four. What guidance do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Four? All right, so we have focus right now, Cancer. I really feel like you need to be focused, um, and especially with the chariot being your card, and the chariot talking about focusing on victory or focusing on winning triumph. I feel like right now you need to focus on really choosing the right path and being happy with the decisions that you make. What messages do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Scorpio, we have generosity. So Scorpio, you could be in a space of really needing to be open. Um, we got Oshun there. So this is definitely talking about trusting your intuition, allowing yourself to flow, being generous, not only with your emotions, but with your energy. Um, I feel like there's a miracle within that for you. What messages do we have for Pisces? We have two for Pisces. So we have illusions and humor. So I feel like Pisces, you, with illusions, you could be not, you could be seeing something from an elusive perspective or not seeing clarity around something. With humor here, I feel like humor does talk about seeing the bright side, but humor also talks about looking at things from a realistic perspective. So I feel like right now, instead of looking at things through rose colored glasses, you need to see things clearly and you need to allow yourself to be real with what you're living in or what type of energy you're allowing in your life. We got compassion under here. So I feel like this is about really being compassionate to yourself, really um, making compassionate decisions. Again, what do you really want? Do you want to be happy or do you want to live in the past? Because your past does not seem to be happy. This is all I have. Until next time.